can have your attention for a minute. Uh, I haven't met you yet. I'm Glenn Kessler, and uh, was uh, class of '94. Uh, studied with Walt. Been lucky enough uh, over the past 15 years uh, to uh, continue to be able to uh, to make a living as a painter and a teacher with Walt's help and uh, and guidance and mentorship. I gained a lot of. Uh, uh, you know, it's my strength from many of the people in this room and uh, many of the people who uh, wanted to be in this room but couldn't make it here uh, for today. This, uh, this little day, uh, this little exhibition here, kind of started uh, what, about uh, nine months ago. I posted a couple of, uh, of pictures uh, on, uh, on Facebook uh, from some, uh, some festivals in the past. And uh, it was amazing to see the response of everyone who, uh, who was chiming in, reminiscing, and, uh, and you know, talking about what, uh, what uh, Mr. Bartman, or Walt, uh, has, uh, has meant to them uh, through the years. And uh, this, this thing just kind of kept rolling, and uh, I'm, I'm amazed to see uh, so many people here from uh, all different years, you know, younger, older, you know, all kind of the mid-90s, uh, you know, uh, people from all over the country, San Francisco, L.A., uh, you know, Minnesota, and, uh, and locals. Um, and, and look at this quality work. Uh, it's all a testament, uh, I think, back to, uh, back to Mr. Bartman for, uh, for laying such an incredible foundation uh, for us all, whether we're still uh, painting and, and, and teaching in the arts. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Gautam, I know, is a, a professor at, uh, at Butler. Uh, you know, Jenny's written a, a book. Uh, we've got architects, we've got painters, we've got Jeremy, who just got right back into painting, uh, trying to get something to show uh, here today. Um, but it all it all goes back to uh, to Walt. And I just wanted to say uh, to say thank you, uh, Walt, for, uh, for for those who uh, won't speak up uh, and uh, and say it. Um, and I also wanted to open up the floor to anyone who did uh, want to add anything uh, to uh, to that. But thank you, Walt. Just say it's great to see your faces again. I mean, really, truly. I, I missed you all, so it's glad you, I'm glad you got back here, and we built this place, and it's sort of our center now, and, you know, anytime you want to come back here, you're certainly welcome to come back at any time. And we have a number of uh, instructors on our faculty now that were ex-Whitman students, which we could yes for more. I mean, it's just perfect, you know, so I, I enjoy uh, working with all of you over the years, and I'll see you, so thank you for coming. I wanted to jump in and <laughs> uh, make, a, 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 make some remarks about uh, Barbara and art in general. I'm glad to see Jenny and many others here. I don't want to try to jog my memory at all. But um, I am nowhere close to art today. I'm nowhere close to art. I'm actually uh, an organizer and a speaker and administrator of uh, uh, a non-profit church organization that originated in India uh, maybe about 75 years ago and I work all over. So I'm just the, the, the bottom line is I'm nowhere close to art today but as far as what I do on a daily basis but my heart, my heart is just uh, I, it never left art, never left Bartman, never left Whitman, never left C232. I hope I got that number right. <laughs> First thing about art is uh, just the connection again. Um, I've been coming down to D.C. from New York, where I am right now, uh, and I was coming down regularly for about five months from January to May. And uh, so one, during my off time, I decided to go visit a few people, and one of the people I came to see multiple times, at least, and we went out for dinner also, is Mr. Bartman. And I will not call him Walt. He's still Mr. Bartman. Yeah. I'm scared of the beard today. <laughs> and honestly, I still, every now and then, still not. Wipe my paintbrush on my pants. So. <laughs> but um, I am um, uh, one other person that necessarily connected to Mr. Bartman, but with art was uh, Miss Wendy Egan, and that was the classroom across the street, for, uh, across the street, across the hall from us. Um, I decided to pay her a visit after 14 years. I came there last year after 14 years since I graduated in '94. <laughs> decided to pay her a visit. And it was the most uh, just touching, and please, I'm not going to get choked up or anything, but just the most touching experience. I walked into her room thinking, I'm going to surprise her. And I walked in, and she said my first name, my last name, and my middle name. But what was most touching was on her board, for 15 years, she's been keeping a huge four-foot-wide 
four by two and a half painting that I made. You do the Pharaoh painting? Yeah. Oh my God, I know that painting. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was, if the, the history behind it, that was actually blackmail because I'm, <laughs> uh, I wasn't doing too well in the class. And then she said that if, if you want to pass, you better, you, you better owe me, you, you're gonna, you owe me a painting. But the whole thing is that she said, it's been up for 14 years, 14 years. And I mean, it's, it's taken up the whole, I mean, she has no blackboard. It's, it's a, a painting, four foot wide painting. That was never finished, uh, but somehow I got to put it in the art show anyway. And I was just floored. I mean, my, my knees were shaking. To, and then she said, what she talked, she was saying is that people have a chi, a connection that will last eternally. And no matter where you are, no matter what, where you go on in life, there'll always be that connection. And uh, I felt it definitely for her, but most importantly, I felt it really with this art program. Um, I have nowhere close to her. I haven't picked up the only thing I probably, I haven't drawn for the longest time. But I can't stop talking about Bart. I go all around the world and all around the country, speaking to thousands of people. And somehow in my sermons, I always find a place to mention about Bart. For instance, one of the sermons I mentioned was uh, uh, about the touch of the, uh, the master's hand, in the sense where I remember I was, you know, the, the, the art room we had, the, the ceiling was all mirrored, and uh, so it was all these challenges he gave us uh, as far as still lifes and things like that, and m my famous gas mask and skeleton drawing that uh, at least the gas mask he still has. And I remember I was trying to paint a self-portrait of myself looking up at the ceiling, and I, I, I couldn't get it to look anything else but a, like a pancake. <laughs> and I was struggling and I was trying different color schemes and shadows, whatever. It wasn't working and this was, I was always staying after school. And Barbara just walked by and he dipped his finger in my palette and he striked, he just striked one part and said, there you go. And I, I've talked about that particular, there's probably more to the story, so much that just as far as your skill, and your expertise and your excellence in being able to teach and motivate. I don't know if many other people, many other places who could have gotten rowdy, horny teenagers <laughs> interested that much in art. I took all four years of Barman in my last year. I probably had three periods. So the first period and the last two periods. You transformed people. And I mean, to, you knew the sign of Barman because everybody in the school, I mean, you knew the art students because they all had paint on their, on their thighs. And, but my connection to Barman went even beyond that. Barman was also there during my transition. I was not a spiritual, religious person at all. Uh, but there was something that was taking place to me during the last year, uh, last two years, but last year of school. And what had happened was it made me, I changed my whole uh, schedule. So, Every day, Martin can tell you himself, he can vouch me on this, every day after school, I stayed about two, three hours every day to paint. After school, I was the only one left, and it was usually either he let me out or the janitor. And that's how much he had instilled, you know, this passion for art in me. And we spent a lot of time talking, and we talked about everything. And I remember our conversation about your faith and your, you know, former, you know, your background even as a Catholic. We talked about everything. I was so, you know, joined to this man and to the point where when it came to my future in art, I was not only concerned about my own parents, but I was concerned about not failing this man. 